All right, guys, DST James RC here. Gonna do a little uh, comparison. 2S versus 3S for the Rustler XL5. Modified Rustler XL5. Let's go. <laughs> Try not to hit that uh, construction vehicle over there for sure. I adjusted the slipper earlier today. It's still, it was still wheelie out of control, but not as bad as since I got the wheelie bar on there. It's a little more controllable now. Somebody over there behind me is practicing their maneuverability test for their driving license exam, so I'm sure I'm distracting them a little bit, but you know, that's good because they'll they're gonna be distracted while driving anyway. Hopefully not. Not in this, not not by an R not by a an RC car at least. Oh I'll ride myself over. I'll put the I'll put the part number and stuff of battery. I'm running the Traxxas 2S right now. Like I said, I loosened the slipper up a little bit, so it seems that it takes off in a wheelie, but it does it does even out. Oh, somebody just hit a cone over there. I just heard it. Maybe, we'll, maybe later we'll take the rustler over to do some maneuverability testing. Hopefully not because I've crashed this thing several times. As you guys can see, I'll drive it up close. You guys can see the body is a little bit scratched up. Look at that. Sheared the, sheared the wing off there. It's been a good one though. It's been a good, it's been a trooper. So I've been very, been very happy with it. This has got the Valenion Traxxas Power Up upgrade. Um, I just put those big bore shocks on. Let me think, some aluminum steering, the aluminum turnbuckles, camber links. I had the, Taking it apart the other day, I found out that I bent the Traxxas caster blocks, the aluminum, anodized aluminum caster blocks. I bent those, so I had to put the old ones back on. I had to put the old plastic ones back on. That's all right. Oh, and if you guys are looking for a good replacement for the stock wheels on the Rustler, the stock rear wheels, for like a good mix of street and off-road these duratrax lockup st they seem to be really good so far the stock ones would be shredded by now but the tread pattern size and all that very similar to stock i got the 2075 servo in here too from the vxl model this has got a lot of the vxl stuff on it so Except for TSM, which is which is why it's really difficult to keep it in a straight line. And I seem to have to adjust the steering trim. I have to adjust the steering trim all the time, like pretty much the entire time that I'm driving this. So if you guys have any tips for me on that or what might be wrong, maybe the servo saver is damaged or something, give me a give me a shout in the comments down there me some advice and see what I could possibly do to straighten that out. 
because it's just wild as you can see. All right, guys, I'm going to switch this to 3S and you'll see from my experience, it's almost undrivable, but still fun, of course. All right, guys, I'm back, changed up the batteries. Now we got the 3S LiPo in here. Let's see what, let's see how this goes. right there I'm afraid to loosen the slipper anymore I've already burnt I've already I've burnt it up once already oh, see this with this wheelie bar once you crash if you crash this wheelie bar comes loose almost every time and you see what the with the 2S, I was not wiping out at all. I can, guys, this is only, this is only half throttle. I can't even, I can't even go full throttle. I go half throttle and that's about what we have here. It's an animal, it's an animal. Ah, see? I mean, I also need to learn how to drive, of course, also. I apologize for the wind noise out here. Body clips all in the car in one piece. If there's a lot of wind noise, it just the wind kind of picked up. It's getting chillier out here because of the wind. It will keep the motor temp nice and cool. That's a good yeah, you know, I think I need to. Uh, I think I need to loosen that slipper clutch back up. I wanted to get a, a speed pass for you guys, but I can't even. Honestly, that. Let me see if I can. All right, let me see if I can go down. Let me see if I can go down. Adjust the steering trim again. All right, let me see if I can get a high speed pass for you guys. I gotta adjust the steering trim. Let me see if I can. Oh, oh my God. Landed on his wheels at least. <laughs> Good God. That was horrible. Nothing like rolling over going 40 miles an hour or whatever it was. And I, that wasn't even full speed. Ah, see? Yeah, see, that's about, that's about where I'm at with driving the 3S, but I would like to make some adjustments so I actually can, you know, once in a while, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use this a lot, just because. See, cars, okay is it all okay i think it's okay <laughs> let's go as you can see a lot of fun but this with tsm we'd be able to tsm we'd be able to keep it in a straight line a, a lot more at least all right guys let's let's try for another heist let's get some let's get some speed here I can honestly, I cannot keep the wheels on the ground to get that. I'm even trying to like throttle control a little bit, ease, let's, let's ease into it here. Wheelies at any speed. Guys, that was still like half throttle, half throttle, not even, not opening it up or, you know, trying to. Trying to get a full throttle speed pass here. Oh, that was actually sweet. Did you guys see it slide through the, did you see it drift through those coins, uh, 
cones right there. Completely unintentional. All right, let's do some donuts. Let's do some donuts in because you guys, looks, looks like someone else has been doing donuts in this parking lot. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, you remember I, you, you guys remember I was talking about putting the plastic uh, caster blocks back on? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, good. The RPM bearing carrier held. Sheared that right off of there. All right, guys. I guess this is a wrap for the rustler today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's going uh, Marty McFly here. Um, hover mode. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll try to get back with you soon.